if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, I wanted to throw out a little uh, challenge question on ultrasonic cleaners. And uh, I've got so much content recorded on ultrasonic cleaners and vapor blasting and soda blasting and I'm getting ready to do some stuff that does a comparison between all of them but I want to I want to really find out what all you folks out there are using for cleaner in your ultrasonics especially like these smaller portable ones this is really the largest one you can get that's not like a commercial um, made unit but uh, I know a while back I made some introduction videos where I was talking about what I found uh, a fella to be using and making a huge deal about on aluminum was this guy and starting uh, to do some ultrasonic cleaning and doing some experimenting uh, w with this little guy I used to I used to teach at a college and we had a big like eight thousand dollar ultrasonic machine the size of a freaking hood of a car I swear but it was a uh, uh, we use their product and, and their time frames and their temperatures and all that stuff. And it just, it really worked well unless you left it overnight. And then it like white corroded, you will, anything aluminum. It was just like, don't do it kind of thing. And what I've been seeing with these smaller ultrasonics is a lot of staining. Let me show a picture up here in the corner of a, a carb that we just got that we had to restore where it had literally just turned black as can be and I didn't even know if it was you know going to be recoverable without obviously vapor blasting so it was so bad I didn't even know if the vapor blasting was going to fix it but uh you know the combination of all these tools they work really well this uh this this crap in here now looks terrible looks like really nasty water it started out as this in water and really looks like a really vibrant uh forest green uh 10 ounces to do that um, whole tank for the the specs that it says I can't remember what it is like two ounces uh, per gallon or yeah two ounces per gallon or something so figured it out and that's what I need ten ounces to do that whole tank and then uh, I saw someone else's video that did a killer job of uh, showing how you could take and uh, put you know your parts just in one container this one doesn't truly seal but you can put them in a sealed container like glass jar or something and then just use water in the whole tank and you'll go through a lot less product what i've been doing uh oh man let's see four eight twelve i i think i'm something like no there was two more i think i'm like 14 carburetors right now in the same solution and it's still just killing it look at look at all the the debris sitting on top of here I wanted to make a point to show what I have in here is a bunch of the jets okay let's uh let's see if I can do this one-handed and dump this out without regretting life fortunately it's a small tank but yeah the, the dirt just falls off it's freaking awesome these bowls were vapor blasted, so I wouldn't call that a, a fair comparison. <laughs> Let's be honest. This thing is the cat's meow for speed, looks, visual, you know, the appearance, everything else is a killer. But this guy has its place. So let me see here. Got a lot of little jets and pieces in here. And what I'm really looking for is that the bottom of this... Yep, there it is. There's just gunk in there. And so, I don't know why I keep proving to myself. I think I've done it enough now. Woo! Yeah, you can see the crap down in there. That literally, just putting them in its own container, does a pretty neat job. Look at how you can see, like, the, the carbon staining. This was just ran through one cycle. But you see all that, like, dirt and debris down there in the bottom? This was a perfectly clean you know, brand new uh, parts tray, if you will. So it does work to separate it off. Anyway, I, uh, I'm, I'm just loving it. I would have never guessed, you know, these, these bigger ones, you find for like 400 bucks or something, I'll put links below, but I would have never guessed that this little guy would do uh, so well and, and work the way it is, especially just using like an over-the-counter product. When we had our Megasonics was the brand we had at the college, it was awesome, but we had to buy like, 
you know, their two and a half gallon jug, their filters, their everything. Um, the other thing I'm really liking about this is when I first got it, I'd use it and I'd change the solution, wipe it all down. And then I was like, oh, I wonder how long I can make it go. And that's why I've been on this experiment. I think I'm at the point where it's taken me two cycles. It's taken me longer to clean stuff. So, I mean, I think I've exhausted this, this claim to be 30 liter, but it's actually only 28. Uh, I think I've exhausted this cleaner as much as possible. I mean, there's, it's, I'm just wasting time at this point and money because I'm having to make it run longer, which takes electricity. So be better off just dumping it out. And you can see the little accessory I put over here, um, in a bucket. And one of the things I want to do is there's always that chance you're going to drop a little, you know, a small piece or something. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and build a funnel. Uh, top on there with like a, a cotton screen or something that could catch anything as it drains out just a little preventative uh, measure you know what I might just I might put a little piece of gauze I take that back you know what I might fabricate up a couple of brackets and do a little piece of gauze or something over the outlet so that it doesn't have to make the corner and go through there just something similar like if you've ever seen the the pump filters on these uh, parts washers you know they just have like a mesh screen in there if you will it would not be that hard to take and do something like that on the outlet and that would uh that would definitely protect it as well all right my friends i love it i love cool tools i love learning uh, how to use them to their maximum potential so that's what um, i wanted to invite you to how to wrench to comment below on do you have an ultrasonic machine what chemicals or products are you using is this true have you heard this as well uh from anybody else about the simple green d is really uh the cat's meow for aluminum this was a big deal someone made and then uh what type of cycles what type of temperatures anything you want to put that'll benefit this community and we can all learn and grow together i got some other groups i'll share all your comments and answers and stuff with and then uh let's quit uh let's keep uh restoring uh, motorcycles and engines and parts and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get back at it. But as always, share, like, subscribe, make it a great day, and keep wrenching.